a good student leader is hardworking and passionate. Someone who has an initiative. Someone who is committed, responsible. It's one with the students. Why Sangu first? Uh, for two reasons. First, I see Sangu as a means of me to give service to others. Through Sangu, I'm able to help others become better people. Uh, specifically, for in my example, this past year as a school board chairperson, I was able to help the SOS students become more bonded. I was able to help them become more politicized. The second reason, that AC Sangu was also a means of formation for myself. As a leader, I was able to uh, learn how to manage people, able to build relationships. So the vice president, I believe, is more on the micro level, the internal things. So with that, I'll be able to use more my skill of being a people person. My vision consists of three parts. First, connection. And this one is the Sangu as a student government that draws connection or has connection with its students. The second is uh, relevance. And this one the Sangu as implementing projects that are relevant to the student body. And third, formation. The Sangu ni an, again, I want it to be, it's not just a service to other people. As members of the Sangu, yes, we want to give service, but also I wanted to be again a means of formation to its officers. Para sa an ideal officer, simple lang, ginagawa niyang kailangan ng gawin. Kung officer ka, tungkulin mo mag-attend ng meeting, and then lahat po ka pa sa meeting. Ang rep ka, na dapat kinukonsult mo yung students, dapat ginagawa, nilalapit mo sa siya. And at higit doon, and more than that, maybe going beyond your what is expected of you. Ngayon, sinusubo ko noong past week na pag kumakasap ko ng tao, pinapaliwanag ko ano ba ang importansya ng sanggunan sa isang atinista. At tingin ko yun ang susi. Pag nalaman nila kung gano'ng kaimportante ang sanggunan, ayun, nahingganyo sila ang gumawa. Three years ako sa sanggunan na pangabat ko na akong papalari. Mahal ko itong sanggunan. Mahal ko yung ginagawa ko dito. At pag mahal ko yung isang bagay, ginagawa ko Maraming na ako sinakritisyo para dito at handa pa ako magsakritisyo pa. Passion. Well, actually I've been asked that a lot. So they tell me like, why run? Why run? It's your last year. You have a spot in Gaidon. You can do so many other things and you're graduating. But I tell them like, why not? Why not run? Why not make a difference in this chance to run for Sangunian, why not do give back and use those experiences that you had with orgs and other activities and help. Using the vice presidency, I believe I can make a difference. I want the, I want the Sangunian to actually be engaging the students more. I want them to have to be implementing true political will. Because what happens this year is there's it's all institutionalization where all the pro internal processes are actually handled. So now I say it's time to use those internal processes for the outside, for the student. I believe that all students are capable of life in Guinea. That's why we're Canadians, we're trained to be leaders. But when, what, what, what is the ideal Sanguinian leader? Well, the ideal Sanguinian leader is someone who has the right perspective and the right know-how. It's not just about the capability to lead, which we all perceive to be qualities of leader, but actually it has to be the bravery and the courage leader to step up, to implement, to use political will, and to get what's needed, get what is needed to be done. What we need, at that at Nians at the grassroots, where is this? Talking with them table to table, group to group. This is where we get to know them more, know the problems, know the needs of the Sangonian, the students, and we tap the online uh, the online world where we talk Facebook and the forms so where people can ask us questions on our platform or any kind of uh, any kind of material. And because of this, I believe this is the approach that Sanguinihan has to take to be more grassroots, to be more engaging to the students, to know what the students need. It's it's more of perception, like in terms of how people perceive Sanguinihan currently. They see it as a group of people and very out of touch with students as an exclusive club. 
how they're, they see them as inefficient. Well, I, I don't think they're exactly inefficient. I believe they're more internal in their works. That's why the students don't see the results. But now we need to say it's time to use those internal processes to get results. And when we bring this up to students, they say, yes, that's what we need. We need for our, the org site to be fought for. We need better students' rights. We need better environmental practices. And this is why, and I believe, that's why I believe I'm getting more inspired when students are actually encouraged just to run and get those things done. I believe Athenians see past personalities and see the platform and see the cause that we are trying to give. I bring a new perspective because I am one of the students who come from organizations who struggle in academics, who actually work hard and try uh, work who works hard to make my student life most productive. And now I'm presenting these everyday concerns to the Sangunian, their concerns to the Sangunian. So I am fighting for the students and I want to empower those students by giving more engagement and being and making the Sangunian a true Sangunian, a Sangunian, which means the students of the, of the school, the Ateneo.